let's get ready to go back here with The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, where last time we did a whole bunch of adventuring and um, uh, experimentation and stuff like that. Found a few shrines, including one that I actually sort of left back down there un unopened. So let's go open that before I completely forget it's there. Riju, come with me. We're going to go for a ride. We're going to fly. Oh, it's right down there. All right, this is going to be totally perfect. I don't know if we can take fall damage if we're standing on this thing when it hits the ground. I don't know if the physics are designed such. I mean, that would make... You would actually really be seriously hurt in real life if you took tank this fall, but... Apparently, if you're standing on this thing, you're totally fine in this game, which is awesome and the, my preferred way for things to go. Good to know. Is this one just a real war one? Because we did it from the the rings, the rings from above quest or whatever it was called. I'm leaving the one that we did uh, unlocked up on that sky island um, open for the time being, just because I don't really feel like doing it. Oh, it's no, it's a it's a battley one. Oh, I love these ones, but I, I better be careful because I I mean it's pretty clear at a glance that this one's got the orange still on it, so it's not been done. But um, knowing me, I would probably I will probably miss that, and we'll have like a one we'll be one shrine away from oh for a minute all of these were reading zero, and I was like why? But it's because I don't have them in here. Sorry, um, uh, knowing me, oh, this this will be like the one shrine we're missing at the end, and I'll forgotten that I that we chose not to go in at that time, and then I'll be like, why is it bad of me? Ah, no, well, we still got the shrine quest that it tells us the the crystal because we didn't actually do that part of it, so we'll be able to know from that. Thank goodness. Right, let's get into this thing. What do they call this place? Um, battle proving grounds. What's it called? Ascension. Oh, interesting. I guess they want us to be using the sand power. There's a whole lot of weapons for this. Um, will we be needing that many? Probably not. So let's just put the stick on the end of this. Uh. Longer stick, so we can have a nice uh, six thrusting weapon. Got a shield, a bow, five arrows. Not bad at all. Oh, look at all the monsters around here. Oh, this is cool. I love this. So that one will probably see us if we go creeping out of here. So let's see about getting... Um, I've got nothing to attach here. Let's see about just getting a headshot here, seeing how much that'll do. That was nowhere near close enough. That was too far. Well, here go all my arrows. <laughs> Oh, okay, that's a one shot of them. Okay, that's perfect, because uh, then that sight line is no longer an issue. We can grab all those arrows when we're over here in a minute. Right, there's a hot air balloon there, which could be very useful. Um, This over here, some lasers, which we need to crouch under. Hang on. Uh, yep. Rockets. Do you suppose anything good happens if you... Oh! Oh! I've seen this! Kerchunk! This is a thing that you can do. I don't know if attaching a rocket to a weapon is any good, but I know about this. We're probably going to lose the element of stealth when I use this, so let's see about getting this one on the ground first before we uh, use this for the purpose I'm about to use it for, but... Ah! I hope no one else heard that. Uh, maybe that one did. I'm not sure. Ooh, we got a few uh, bits out of this, though, so we could fuse... Ooh, some good weapons! Oh, they're throwing rocks at us! Okay, uh, just grab more weapons and stuff. Good, okay, wooden stick. Actually, I would like to try and fuse the, uh, a rocket to this wooden stick here, see how that goes for us. What is with these things swinging around this whole way, anyway? Oh, did you see that? It, it's like on my face. What is that doing? Oh, it puts a bomb there. I see. Ow. At first, I thought this laser was like would burn you if it touched you. And so I was like, wait, it's touching my face, but it doesn't do anything? Right. Well, that was just dumb. Good thing we have lots of hearts for me being an idiot. Oh, it adds 10 to the damage. Nice. But what we can do with the shield is if you do this. Woohoo! It brings you all the way up like that. Sweet. So let's bring them down with the rocket and see what that does for us. Um, yeah, bonk. Nice. Good. Grab all their bits here. Right, we didn't need to worry about their bits for later on, uh... Because it, it, we lose all this gear once we're done here, but, uh... This rocket club is going well. As well as that spike club, I like that! Oh, I missed it. Apparently there are a lot of robots to fight here I'm missing. Um, I could ascend up through here, though, with the way this is laid out, right? Oh no, I couldn't. It's way too steep. Oh, I picked up someone's good, rather good weapon over here. Uh, let's put a, make a, this torch into something a bit more impressive by putting one of these on it. Oh, is that plus eight? Well, we may as well do it with this uh, spear as well, as so we don't just we just take the silly stick off it. Oops. Um. Well, the stick was better than this thing probably, but this will be more durable. Nevertheless, we're gonna want uh this one probably for the time being. They'll probably be the most durable. But I don't actually see where all these other monsters are at. I guess I could use the hot air balloons to look around a bit more carefully. Okay, there's one up there. Maybe that one's just got a lot of health. And it's the last one. Oh, did I fuse the something to that torch? I think I did. Um, can I still be lit on fire? Oh, I can just pick up this whole <laughs> torch thing and put it on down here. Well, that, that works for me. Hold on! Wait, we should actually stick it to this whole thing. Like that. Yeah, that'll do. It's weighing uh, to the side a bit, but um, this, this doesn't take any power, so we can just ascend up here this way. Ascension indeed. Good afternoon, my freakish friend. <laughs> but you weren't expecting to see me up here so soon. Don't shoot my- not! That was my sword! <laughs> you bastard! Oh, right, I don't have any food in here. I gotta not mess around. Wait, no, no, don't, don't. You're being- you're, you're a bully. You, you could just be how you want, any whoever you want. The, the world revolves around you, and you can just be a bully if you'd like to. That's not how it works. 
You're gonna have a rude awakening, my friend, when- ah, Shield, put it out. Okay, wabonk, wabonk, wabonk. Throw this at you, wabonk! That should finish it off. Okay, good. <laughs> God, that was really intense for a bit there. Got a fair dodgy in the middle. I was not certain I would prevail <laughs> at the end of that. Good thing we have so many hearts. Huh, why is there no link preview here? Is it just loading it? Yeah, I guess it was. All right, <laughs> thanks for this. Soldier 4 Spear, ooh. Yeah, absolutely want to have a look at that, if nothing else, to photograph the horn on it. But also we don't have a Zonite Spear, do we? A strong Zonite Spear and a Soldier 4 Construct Horn. This is actually not a bad weapon altogether. I probably do want it, considering we exhausted our weapons uh, not too long ago. That's a messed up looking horn. So altogether this is Long Throw in 35, which is not bad uh, attack power for a sp It's actually quite good for a spear. Um, what can we ditch to uh, make room for this st big stealth weapon, because I'm not leaving this behind. This is a stealth uh, Boko Reaper, and this is just a normal Boko Reaper with a Traveler's Sword. Um, I'm gonna ditch the club. We've still got this one that's full, uh, full durability, and we can use bombs to break rocks if we really need to. I like this weapon. I'd like to keep it. That was good fun, that! Bum, 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 bum. Boodly doo What's that part that puts up at, like, 47 shrines or something? 40, 45. Right, because we just got 11th upgrade. Because we have 15 hearts, and you get 3 at the start, and we got 1 from the Gerudo play. So yeah, 45. Sweet! I believe there are a thousand Korok Seeds in this game, if I've heard correctly. But I don't know how many shrines there are. I want to say it's a little more than the last game, and it's like 140 or something like that, but I'm not 100% confident. Or in the Nature Snowfield, there used to be- there's a, um, a Lyle hanging around here in Breath of the Wild. I wonder what's there in their place now. Let's go have a look at that, and then I want to pop over to Hateno Village, because I want to die. Um, the, the Barbarian's Armor light blue to- oh, you can just pick this up over your head, that's cool. To match my pants here. Oh, I'm just gonna take the cold for a bit, because I'm not gonna be here long. I'm going in and out of, uh, whether it's too cold or not, which is interesting. Now it's fine, but it was- if I- I guess this is my elevation. If I go up a little bit, it gets too cold. <laughs> that's actually really funny. Oh my god, monsters are fighting someone over here. I shouldn't get involved. I should I should keep my head under the objective I came here for, but I can't ignore that now. They're right there. Go on, Riju. Innocence must be defended, even if it means that we're <laughs> getting distracted and spending a lot of this video's time doing side objectives and not achieving much. I would say saving the life of an innocent is an achievement in of itself that we should- Why are you not looking at me? Stop looking at the civilian. Get away from them. Look, go over to the edge. Oh, thank you for your weapons and shield and such. Hi. This is what you said to me last time. Oh, it's you, water again. Oh, favorite food. Sneaky fruity tomato stew. Oh, that sounds so good and weird. Thank Hi. you so much. Are you enjoying your own travels? Are you catching every last bug you see? I certainly try to. Since we're both here, let me buzz your ears with some uh. bug facts. Uh, chilly regions like this home. Quite much heat resistance. Yep, water supply through the air. But I can't remember times going to come watch the lost way in the mountains. Thank you for your insane crash course. May your travels be safe. It's also giving us a, a shrine blankie from over this way. Which I'll ignore for the moment. Yes, okay, so there are some monsters uh, holed up here. Or there used to be a Lionel uh, fight that goes on. Yeah, I'm not dealing with this now. Let's see about while we're dying things. Dying this mask at the same time. Oh, the way it ties back your hair is actually really cool looking. This mask. Right, um... Oh no, it's it's the helmet that, that gets different paint when when you color it differently, isn't it? Right. So the Barbarian, we're just, we're just changing the color of the paint that's already there. Which is fine with me, because that's uh, I thought the paint looks pretty cool as it is. And I just want to make some light blue stuff. Uh, what's the least valuable ingredient we could use for this? Probably is the the choo-choo jelly. Works for me. Wicked. It also makes the beak on the on the mask, and I guess the the tint around the eyes that color as well. Sweet. I actually kind of like that diving mask uh, being that color with our green diving suit. It kind of works, doesn't it? Because the it makes the the little bangles around your eye, like the little things that are almost like earrings. They're still the greenish color, so they match the shirt and all. We don't have many pairs of pants. <laughs> We're taking the Alicia route of armoring ourselves. Right, now that the, the paint matches up with the pants. Yeah, that looks cool. I like that. Oh, I'm here. I may as well pop over to the general store, see what kind of food we can get. Oh, yes, it's all back. <laughs> you sure buy a lot, friend. That's me, all right. I've been thinking, I've, I've been spending, a, oh yeah, and they stock the cheese now. Um, I've been spending a heck of a lot on, um, uh, or selling a heck of a lot of monster bits recently, and we should probably be stocking them up for whenever we unlock the great fairies. Because that, that's that's predominantly what they'll be asking us for, I imagine, for a lot of our gear. In Breath of the Wild, I was I was going around with the Midna Helm, the Phantom Greaves, and then the Zora Armor. And so the only one of those you can actually upgrade is the Zora Armor. And even with only one piece of armor being upgraded, you still could get a pretty decent defense stat. So if this is going to be our traveling set and we upgrade the, the tr pants and the, the, bar the, the chest plate to a decent defense stat, it'll be pretty good. And keep the, 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 the Midna Helm for it. Wow, oh, you spent a lot of money there. Alrighty, righty, let's get ahead on our way to Azor's Domain. We can even see the dam from here. I mean, it looks gorgeous from this angle, too, so. This is throwing in. Anytime we get a bit of a blinky to blinkity on the way. Oh, there's even a shrine we can see over there. We should absolutely follow it up. 
Ooh, or maybe drift it over down to the, uh, the the beach side again to get that cliff over there, maybe? Maybe we could do that as well. Well, we'll probably decide once we get closer to that shrine that's over there. Roll Boss Picoblin and a bunch of followers here. With our Puff Shrooms tactic, we know that we could take out this fight damn near instantly. It's a lot like Metal Gear Solid in that way, when you, once you get a, um, a, a, a smoke screen, you can just be... <laughs> Instantly knocking everybody out, especially with our really good uh, stealth weapons. I should try that next time I'm fighting a Lionel to see if it's any any use. My guess is that they wouldn't really care because they're pretty resistant to a lot of scary things. But I have been wrong before, as I so often say. This is a pretty steep wall we're about to have to climb here, but we may be able to make it up with some shenanigans. Or by just rebuilding that plane we had a moment ago. I've, I've, how much zone out have I got? Not much, right? 13, right. Right, but I only need three for the base and we can provide the rest. There goes my stamina, and there's a Korok here, we may as well get that as well. Oh, we're going much closer to the shore than I thought, actually, I didn't realize the shore reached inward this way. Oh, this is a really pretty area, the way it's like rocky and on the shore, but there is like greenery and these sort of interestingly shaped trees here as well. And they're not like super huge and tall either, they're just kind of very, 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 just, just kind of making it out here, you know what I mean? Are we meant to complete the ring with both of these rocks? Sort of looks that way, doesn't it? Hey, honk! Yay! Ooh, let your choo-choo! I'm in a cutscene! Don't hurt me! Yeah, indeed. Um, hey, uh, don't die by this thing that's about to attack us both! Ooh, okay. Read you! Read you help! Do I have to swing for her to attack? Oh, okay, I see. If I swing, then she goes to attack. I gotcha. So I can- I can command- command my friends to attack, basically, by just swinging at nothing. Gotcha. Very cool. At least it looks like that way. Yes, indeed, the rain has kicked up a game, but we don't need to get... We don't need too much power to get up that high, I wouldn't think. Oh, there's a Hudson construction person here. Oh, well, maybe it's the same dude as before. Not to worry! I have gotten very good at making this sort of shape of things. Oh, but it's on a hill. That will be different, won't it? Maybe if we just throw a few planks in a bunch of randomish ways, like that, it'll just hold it. Maybe if we do stupid stuff, it'll just work, you know what I mean? I mean, look at it. How, how can it possibly fall over when, we, when we're supporting it so soundly like this? Just let go. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> okay, uh, not that. <laughs> oh, hang on. Um, we just put two of these like this. That'll stand up pretty reasonably well, and it can just lean against it, right? Like that? Oh, that's a bit of a heavy lean. I, I imagine this will knock it over to the side, but I really just want to see what it looks like when I, when I do it this way. It's just gonna flop to the side, right? <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny. I guess just because it, it's it's leaning on it perfectly until they like he lets go of it. Do you know what? That might actually stay if we do a bit more like this. Ah! We're onto something there though. Oh, this is a one piece altogether. I see. I thought it was a a plank stuck to a, a, a one of these pole support things. If we can just make a, 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 few, a few of these stuck together, it'll be a bit more sturdy, and it may actually work the way I was intending that one to a moment ago. Like that, it might even wedge in between them a bit. Yeah, that's pretty good, right? Sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very kind of you. Swim speed on my balls. I won't be as fussed about the, the swim speed part of it, but we can sell it or eat it uh, when we're low on health. All kinds of uh, applications we have for it there. I want to get this teleport point before I do anything, even including that uh, memory over there. Let's just call that. Let's, let's, we'll get to this shrine and then hop into that memory, and that'll be this episode. Because last one's a bit long. Let's try and keep this one a bit sh on the shorter side. Uh, so we've got tons of fans here. Let's go one, two, three, four. I'll have it make the cart for us because I I don't necessarily uh, want to be using that one cart we have just yet. Um, and if this thing is going to take 150 to make, is that right? Yeah, it takes. A, it seems that the anti gravity platform takes a lot. We should unfavorite that. Oh, what it says a lot in your history. At least 30. Uh, probably it seems just 30. Anyway, this vehicle though we've uh, has, has proven most usable. So let's wait for it to perform all those. Spend three on the cart, which it'll make out of stone, and do this this way. Oh, I should probably put, put some batteries on it as well. Once again, I'm thinking two should do us for the length of uh, the, the distance we're trying to go here. We have, we have less weight on us now that we're not carrying a cork as well, so that should also help matters. It's a shame I can't stop and put another battery on in mid-flight, though, because if I get off it, it stops running altogether. Right, I didn't put those batteries on at all symmetrically, but it's fine. It should work anyway. Oh my god, we're draining batteries so fast. Come on, just make it up there. We're about halfway there, and we've used just about our one battery here. Yeah, we're gonna be fine. Because we also get our the rest of our battery after this, right? I forgot. Very good, very good, very good. I do like this hovercraft thing we've built here. I mean, it's very basic, obviously, but... The card is a good base for it, I think. And easy as we rock on it over here. This is a nice, really comfortable nook we've got here. Is that another cork over there? My goodness. Oh, hang on so that we don't take full damage. I, we don't even probably have to hang on for that. A project shrine. What be you? 
this shrine, that cork, that glyph, and we'll call that an episode. We are mighty close to Zora's domain, though. You can even see it right in the top left there. Sorry, I was trying to scroll over to do it. Well, do like Wings on the wind. What happens if you try and auto-build it? Oh, it doesn't let you. Of course it wouldn't. Because <laughs> then you could just build whatever in uh, try and So Wings on the wind there. That one's gliding right there. They really want us to seize it. Um, so we can... Oh, I see. Probably is exactly what they want us to do, right? Is grab this one and just uh, put the ball on it. And throw it down the hill. I don't mind doing things the normie way once in a while. I'm oh, sorry, that was so gross. <laughs> I meant it to sound funny. It actually just sounded a bit... Conceded. Let's let's just ride on this, shall we? Please don't collide with the other one midair. That would not be fun. I don't know why I'm trying to steer it stupid ways. Let's just grab the ball and go. Ah, there we go. Uh, is that a chest over there? No, that's the bird falling. Oh, what's to back here? Do be do be do be do do. But what's down? Da, 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 down. Oh, just a way you could get back up if you fail, I suppose. I'm not really sure why that's there. Why they don't just have a cliff for you? Anyway. Well, we can track shrines now. So let's uh do that. Uh, did I say shrines? I meant chests. Oh wow! It'll no longer ever say pick from compendium again. We've We've changed the UI irreparably for, for the rest of our lives. How funky is that? So this is just a fan we could take out of here. Um, and we should. But the chest. Ah, here we are. That looks close enough that we could probably just pull it off, couldn't we? Oh, it's stuck to the ground. Mercifully, this fan is here, and we can stick it to this one. And then uh, bring these two up here. Oh, it powered the other one on one. That's cool. I didn't realize it would do that if you stuck it to one that was already on it. Turns on itself. The springs don't work that way. And we should be able to just even make it up here with a glide. Like, uh, now that these two fans are helping us along here. It's cool that there's like an extra updraft effect so you know when there's a strong upward wind. And in here was a strong Zonite Spear. It's a shame it doesn't let you drop the thing you're about to take out here. Because all I want to do is take it out so that I no longer reads treasure in here. But Anyway, that's that. And um, that was indeed all the treasure here. So let's grab these, uh, stick these fans to this wing that's going to show up here when it does. Oh, these are these hills are on a different slightly different angle, is that right? No, I guess the the wings are just out of tandem. It feels like one of them was gliding farther than the other. Here we go. I'll be having that. And uh actually this is probably even fine stuck together as it is. Oh, it's a little stuck together at an angle, but it, it, uh, just put it like that, it's fine. <laughs> Actually, I really just want to see how this works. I'm guessing the answer will be not very well, but oh, it doesn't even block it from going down the rail. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, this is going to be perfect. The flight, of the, flight of the bumblebee, flight of the majestic butterfly. Oh, I have to turn it on. That's an important step in the fans working, is that they be on. Nah, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. It's going to be totally fine. This is the how you're meant to do this. <gasps> Don't hit the wall. Just turn fine. It's good. Abandon ship. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Well, there's a plane for you. Sorry, plane. Let me just uh, skirt around you and put my hand on this. Thanks. Hey, thanks, you two. That was a good, a lot of fun. You made this little obstacle course just for me. I feel so seen and loved. Been a while since we had to do one of our fun runs. <laughs> Isn't it, Riju? Nice to get the, the Hyrule area out of your lungs and get the Lanero area in. Where is your friend, my friend? Not me, the other friend. Oh, God! <laughs> Well, this will be fine. Just close your eyes. I don't think we need to attach any fans to this. It's probably perfect and fine as it is. It will be kind of hard to get onto otherwise, though. I'll just have to catch up to it. Oh, I got hit by it. That's probably not good, is it? Oh, it's flipping over. Wait, this is not how this is meant to go. Let's try that again, shall we? Maybe a fan wouldn't go amiss. Nah, nah. We just need to get it so that it'll start sliding down the hill, and then uh, once we're on it, we can steer it much more betterly. I'm sure the cork on the front isn't going to be a problem at all. And we're not going to have to carry this a really far away when I screw this up. Yep, here we go. It's, it's, yeah. See, all it needed was a little, little time to glide, to get catch the wind, you know, and sort of glide in the, the way you want it to. And we'll just steer a little left here. We may have to climb a bit of the mountain still, but that's, that's not too bad. The point is that we get across this whole big bay area. Oh, this is where all those, uh, all the wind was going. In um, uh, Breath of the Wild, I'm just gonna plant a leaf here because I see that Korok stump there. Oh, are we even gonna make it up to the mountain? This is that like temp temp the tempestuous bay or whatever it's called in uh, Breath of the Wild. Well, this is like the gentlest landing you could possibly have had. <laughs> that was perfect. My goodness, you get around fast. I feel like we were just talking to you. Next time I find some boulders, I gotta save that um, as a favorite because that's very good for the Hudson and construction things. Uh, sorry, I might have lost your friend somewhere along the way. Where are we going? Sure is pretty around here though, especially in the rain. Makes me think about the environment in um, No One Lives Under the Lighthouse. The, the way the island is kind of just sort of very par uh, sparse and... There's life there, but it's it's just sort of a little bit off and, and not not all... Not all... Uh, 
fleshy. What's the word I'm looking for? Voluminous. Um, vigorous. It's not exactly vigorous, I guess. Thank you! I'm some tomatoes here for the road. I believe I saw another cork just over here in the water here. There's one of these little uh, building block things here, which needs to go to its partner, which is, I, I mean, one would have to assume somewhere close by here, though I don't see. Hmm. As it happens, though, this might be just the thing that will help uh, this sign stand up. Is it just me or is the sign kind of crooked at an angle there? Here for you, even wet. <laughs> if we just put it like this, it'll just lean against it, right? Oh my god, perfect! I don't think that's what this thing is expressly for, but it's very useful for it. Oh, they nudged away the the, the blocks when they turned around to face me, and I was worried it was about to fall over. But I guess I wouldn't move in a cutscene. Or in di during dialogue. Thank you! Ooh, bright rice balls. You're good at making rice balls. They are, always look so damn good. <laughs> Thank you. I would like to see the, uh, find out where this J structure goes, though. It's gotta be somewhere around here. It's just hard to see in the rain, I guess. Here's the glyph I was headed to, anyway. Oh, another shrine way over there. Let's mark that. It's not far from the mountain, so we should have an easy time getting to that, if we so desire, at some point. Any chance this little structure I'm trying to build up here is way out by the shore in those broken out ruins over there? There's maybe a Lionel fight that can go there in Breath of the Wild. There's a Bloopy hanging around the entrance. And another Korok here on top of this pillar. I don't feel like getting this one yet either. Mark you with a leaf as well. Interesting looking hole here. Oh, do we maybe want to bring a boulder here? I saw one earlier. There are just Koroks all over this place. It is sort of a peaceful little peninsula, so I can see why they'd uh, gravitate toward it, I suppose. It also says I'm headed toward a shrine this way. There must be one close that we'll be seeing soon uh, next episode after we get this glyph. This natural stone archway too. I don't remember that here. It's really cool. Here's that boulder. Oh, interesting, that metal J thing ended up back in the water after all this, so it probably is trying to tell us that it, you don't need to bring it too far. Oh, it's here on the wall right beside it, I didn't even notice. And it's a very easy pattern that <laughs> you just have to match it to fill uh, in this here. Whoops, he says, messing it up. Like this, sorry, is what I meant to do. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, ka-chunk! <laughs> As I said, it was, uh, it was just difficult to see in the rain, so that's all there is to that. But we got that now. We had zero uh, seeds at the beginning of this episode, right? We've already got six. Granted, the uh, bring me to my friend ones give you two. Let's see if we can make it seven. Kaklunk? Oh, oh no, this isn't just a little, oh, it's a cave. Oh, I, I thought it was just a little, oh my God, Tarn Point Cave. Well, well, well. I spent a long time getting that boulder for nothing is what that means. <laughs> um. The Korok, some Korok fronds in here, they want, they clearly want you to make, like, a sail. Oh, wow, look at the water rising and lowering here. Or, that, that's one of their intentions, anyway. We could probably just swim this with all the rocks that are here, though. We could just use them as little points to rest at. Are you not allowed to climb these, for some reason? Oh, no, you are, okay. Let's see what's at the end of this cave. Oh, it's a shrine! That's what our blinker's been going off about this whole time. Look at all the mushrooms and stuff as well. Ooh. An explodable wall over here. Let's uh, see about getting that with an arrow from over this away. Eh. Pew! Lionel Bow was probably a bit excessive for that, but there you go. Did it drop some ores as well? It knocked the mushrooms off the wall, that's for sure. No, maybe it wasn't that it dropped ore. Maybe it just, uh. Well, there's a bubble frog in here. Ow. Probably was just a bit of rubble I saw going into the water. Sorry, thing. I wouldn't do it if I didn't think it was probably, hopefully, important. Ryuji doesn't look like she approves. And it made something fall to the bottom there. What's that about? Just a bit of rock, I guess? This is... Um... Yeah, it's just a rock. <laughs> well, sorry, Wing. You never know, it might have been something important. Uh, I don't really know why. <laughs> it, just, it was going to bug me if I didn't absolutely verify that it was just a rock. Because I saw it splash in the water after we blew up in that wall, and I just... Well, anyway. We got enough stamina to just swim from uh, platform to platform here without making any kind of boat. It's really cool the way the water goes up and down in here. There's a chest over there, inside which is, uh, let me see if I can get it balanced on there. Uh, open it! Yeah, there we go! This is exactly how chests are meant to be opened in all walks of life. A shield, beloved by me, because we are desperate in need, desperately in need of they. Yomizuk Shrine! At last. Well, if you insist, I'll help myself to all the loot here. Heaven knows we need more arrows. We've only got 411. That won't be enough to take down Ganon with. Yes, I agree, game. This is a waterside shrine. You play that waterside shrine music. An apple, too. Surprise, it's still in good working order. It should be very rotten. Unless that means it was put here recently and I shouldn't be taking it because whoever wants it is going to come back for it. I don't know. Let's get in here before I think about this too hard. 
Whee! Too late. Already thought about it too hard. I don't. I doubt that was enough to warrant a, a blessing once. So that means there's going to be some form of puzzle or battle in here. And oh no, that was enough to uh, constitute a blessing. Apparently, getting through that grotto was hard, man. Hard work, swimming. Swimming be hard. That's what I tend to, that's my catchphrase is back. Another diamond! We are gonna be living it up in the ritziest penthouse in Hyrule after this. We can buy put her a new research lab. <laughs> She'll be so happy. Brum, ba -ba -ba -bum, billy doo. Oh, go on. Let's get that one that I, I said we weren't gonna do yet. Now, just because we can get as far as uh, our first stamina upgrade this episode. That'll be exciting. And probably bring this to the same length that the last episode was, which I said I was trying to avoid. Why leave it undone? Why leave it undone? Don't be lazy, just do it. It'll bring us up to 48 shrines as well. Not bad in the slightest. So the the light is pointing up to that uh, island there, which isn't, it seems like it would be a very short journey, doesn't it? Perhaps getting it out of there will be more difficult. It looks, again, like a bit like um, there are vines covering over there, and it'll just be in that sort of little dugout. They've even given us a part of a ship here. How the heck not? Let's just make a, use this little hovercraft they've built for us. Should work perfectly fine. I get that there are some bads in between us. And uh, there, but um, don't hit me with rockets. This still should be enough to just get us up right up to here, right? And then from there, we just have to hop down with it. There's there's enough land in between here. In fact, we could even really just make it as far with um, the la the last few uh, bit of energy that this thing has, probably. Yeah. There we go. Ooh, I wonder if I can get Riju to cut the the vines for us. That would be cool, right? Riju, can you do that? Ah, uh, no, she won't. <laughs> It'd be nice for our durability, but that's all right. Now all I have to do is attach a few more batteries to that uh, thing we made thing, thing they made for us already. It would be certainly enough for the return journey. I mean, we learned we don't actually have to stick them on in any clever way. Probably if you stuck one of them to the other one, then it would be bad, because then when the first one exploded, the other one would just fall off. But as long as you're sticking them all to the base of it, it should be good, and we can probably even stick the crystal any which way, really. It doesn't matter too much. We're just kind of bringing it back down there after all. With tons of power, we have to do so. I should have turned... I should turn it around. I should very much turn it around. <laughs> Don't be silly now and just try and fly it backwards. That's just so blatantly dumb, I can't even believe I suggested it. Right, the crystal is making this thing um, off balance, of course, but... I'm actually going to stop and then control it again, just so that we go down a whole bunch here. Okay, that didn't... That sort of had the... Sort of had the tendon effect and sort of didn't. Uh, we went down a much more than I was hoping for. But uh, we're now operating on my power and we should have been just enough to get back here. I stopped it so that we would drop out of the sky and then I could catch myself, but it, it dropped a lot more than I was expecting. Even still, if we drop it right here, it should be good. Fine. Here's your crystal. Yarg! The ice guides you. Oh, it's not a, a rewardy one. Sweet. More fun. Puzzles. And they give us a bunch of free ice fruit for this as well. Well, I suppose it's free is a bit strong because it's probably going to be necessary for this thing. All of these are probably ice emitters. Maybe we don't even need to use the ice fruit. We can just keep them. This isn't a blessing shrine, but that's a blessing uh, as far as I'm concerned. So I'm tracking chests. Oh, right. I'm still tracking chests. That's why I was getting confused. Um, I was like, why are we? There can't be this many more shrines. Um, it says there's a chest over in this way. Man, this looks like it's going to be a big one, doesn't it? Um, right. We learned that when you ice uh, water in this game, it just makes like a big block. Oh my god. Do they want us to like. You curl it along the spikes here. Uh, instead of that, what if we did not that? If I just drop this here, will it be enough to freeze the water? What if I just huck it into the water? Oh, there we go. Uh, you can stop that now, thanks. I guess they want you to throw, like, pick this ice up and throw it. Can you pick it up with your hands? No. But I've got a better idea. If we just make it for ourselves a bridge like this. Oh, oh my god! Oh, that was close. Um, if I detach this, it's all gonna fall a bit. Um, and then we can just leapfrog between these two, right? Like so, till we're right up there and then just smack it. Is that a possibility? I could have made the path, the path a little straighter, couldn't I? With what with what amount of force do you need to smack this thing for it to count? Oh my god, not enough! You don't want, to, don't want to take yourself off the platform, that's not the idea. Does it have to be hit by ice? You can't just shoot an arrow at it or something? Poke it myself? What the heck? Uh, maybe what you're supposed to do was build like a little course for it so that the ice would slide all the way down the hill and into, into the... The thing, but maybe we can still do that here. Oh yes, okay, here we go. Eek! I didn't think of that, but uh, it's fine. Since we have four, we can just do this. And it should, uh... Right, well, it doesn't matter w which one's, which way it's going, as long as it ends up facing over here. And then can we just kind of slide this down this little makeshift ramp of ours? Will that have enough power on it? Go! Doink! Well, <laughs> hang on. What if I what if I just drop it on it? Will that be enough force? 
Or does it have the force? Does the force specifically have to slam into the front of it? What if I just went like a bonk? Yes! <laughs> I hoped it would work that way. Now we just leapfrog it all the way back. That allows us access to the sort of uh, latter half of this puzzle, it would seem. I don't know if we'll need any of those platforms going through here. Oh, I couldn't bring them through here, so it's probably fine. Um, we could end it now, or we could go for more treasure by going this away, which we're obviously going to do. Oh, is it going to be the same thing, but like a harder course? Oh, pish posh, this is even easier. Ow! Hey, not that way. Go the other way. No, don't all fall off! Oh, well... I messed that up. Oh, it may be actually be harder because they just probably slide down this, don't they? No, they don't. Never mind. <laughs> now, all I gotta do is take this one off, which will make this slump a bit, and then just drop it on here from a high height. Wonk! Alright, check this out. I'm gonna be such a cool person here. I'm gonna jump from here, then I'm gonna go like. <laughs> Was I cool yet? <laughs> Ooh, lovely. More shields are always good for us. Well, actually, we're damn near full now, but we've got a few that we are uh, not fused yet. So let's drop you and fuse you to you. Make ourselves a nice, sturdy thing here. You can barely even see the zone I want anymore. Um, and we still got a, a raw dragon bone one we can fuse uh, when things get dire. Glad we're finding all these shields now, though. This is just the perfect time for it since we broke them all in that Coliseum. Probably could do with a, bit, a few more, uh, a bit more shield capacity, actually. And that's all the treasure here. So very good. The ice guides us indeed. Sha, 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 sha. First stamina vessel of the game. Let's seize it. We've earned it, my friends. Oh, it looks so juicy and tasty. I want to bite it. <laughs> I bet it tastes like, like a like a honeydew melon. <laughs> I don't know why, but I, I just want to bite it so bad. But um, too bad it's in my sternum now. So there's that. Everyone knows that's how you get stamina, is push stuff into your sternum. Delightful, look at that little bit of extra sprint we've got, and extra bit of glide that'll be. And at long last, we've got this glyph over here. Oh, there's a cork right in the center. We can see from here. And then where do you suppose the actual memory part will be? Probably not too far off, because it's not a very large glyph. Should be rather easy to find, in theory. But not before we... <laughs> that deer is really not very observant. <laughs> Hi. Oh, I should have uh, checked if we could have gotten the upgrades when I was there. I think definitely our next upgrade tier is like, Ooh, six or seven. Hey! Don't be mean to the Korok. Would you, would you believe that? Dear, just headbutted our poor Korok friend here. It's okay, buddy. Don't cry. Have yourself a pine cone to eat, okay? And sleep that off, okay? That that, that was that that deer was that was the them problem, not a you problem, okay? Don't don't internalize that. Maybe over here the memory will be because there's a bit of flat ground in and around. Oh, the glyph is actually a bit bigger than I thought, but still far from the biggest one we've encountered. Right, I should put it back on tracking shrines. So it doesn't blink every time we're near a chest, because there are a lot of chests in this world. Ah, here's the memory, right on the top of the hill! What is going on now, my friends? Friends, colleagues, adventurers, and sophisticates of all description, we have a story to watch here. Peer into the tear. See what you make of it. Maybe it'll be a cute one. Maybe it'll be a sad one. Maybe it'll be a violent one. It seems it's always one of the three, and sometimes more than one of the three. Right, all the champions Votre are Majesty, here. Nous venons d'apprendre que le dernier village du désert Gerudo venait lui aussi de way after the war started then. Nous ne pouvons plus contenir davantage les assauts de l'armée du roi démon. J'en suis conscient. This is shortly before they went to fight him themselves. Je me chargerai en personne d'arrêter notre ennemi. Case in point. Raoro. <laughs> no. Le roi notre fort. Tu n'es plus en mesure de lui tenir tête tout seul. <sighs> is this person also his own eye? They've got the third eye on their head. Seul, but their ears aren't what I <laughs> expect from his own eye. Goron, Zora et Piaf sont là. Mm. Ainsi que Zelda. Et moi aussi, bien sûr. Nous sommes tous à tes côtés. I think that's what worries him. <laughs> He's not risking just himself. I love that their helmets are kind of like the Divine Beasts a bit.
Hmm. The four remaining ones we have? And what do they do? Prêtez-moi tous vos forces. Je vous en fais la demande. I guess your zone eye friend doesn't get one. <laughs> so one of them's an earring, one of them's an anklet, one of them's just like on the back of your hand, and one of them's a belt buckle. Yay! <laughs> Raru does not seem pleased about having to bring them with him, but um, I suppose he's seeing at that point that he has all their trust and they have all his. They must have always done this when uh, when he ended a, a, a memory that it he gasps and it falls to the ground. I don't remember doing that except for the last two. Huh. Backed into a corner by the attacks in all parts of Hyrule, leaders facing the Demon King's forces gather at Rauru's call. He gives each a, a zone a secret stone, making them sages with powers amplified by the stones. All of the sages raise their voices as one, pledging to fight with King Rauru until the end. And the one right after that is when uh, Zelda was telling him that th they are probably going to die. It's really interesting that there are like five after that when you consider that we know they j we, we assume they just kind of go and fight and then die then. Sonia is caught by treachery is like the, the milk toastiest way you could say she gets stabbed in the back by the Demon King. Did you see that, Riju? That was your ancestor, getting her serious secret stone. Why are you turning away from me? Anyway, Riju and I and you all will be headed uh, that away next time to head over to Zora's Domain because we are damn close to it. And probably starting, we're going to be starting off um, uh, uh, the, the whole Zora main quest very soon and we'll be working that till it's done. The same way we did with Riju's once we got there. So we'll soon have another Wraith, Wraith friend added to our entourage. Which will be just so dang exciting. Next video on the channel, however, is day 7 of a Chill or Be Chilled uh, 2023. So that is just so diggity dang exciting. I know, I'm excited for it. Actually, I'm scared, but, you know, there you go. <laughs> That's all for now. Thank you so very much for going around. Hopefully I will see you around. Admiral's gonna be out of here now. Peace! Nice enough to 20. Is that all? <laughs> Sad how bad you are at killing me. Well, this... No, I will not be letting you out of I will be letting you hide.